Everybody in personal development is always talking about limiting beliefs. Everybody in trauma is always talking about limiting beliefs, but nobody's really telling you what you got to do if you want your life to change forever. And that's what I'm going to teach you right now. If you want to crush limiting beliefs, if you want to become the hero of your own story, if you want to transform your life, you need to pause everything else that's happening in your life and pay attention to what I'm about to tell you, because I'm going to give you the same tools that I've used to get out of my own way, to get unstuck, to become the hero of my own story in the same tools that I've coached thousands of people around the world to use, to leverage and to utilize, to do the same. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, most of the limiting beliefs in your life are coming from people in your life who have never done the shit that you're trying to do. They're asking you, why are you going to therapy? Why are you investing in yourself? Why are you doing coaching? Why are you reading books? Why are you listening to that podcast? That's not going to help. You hear that shit all the time. I remember being a kid and I started my first business and my grandma worked at an assembly line at a VA, which really isn't even a company anymore. And I love her, even though it's chaotic and you guys have heard my story. Like the one thing that I always tell her, I'd be like, you don't know what you're talking about. I must've told my grandma 10,000 fucking times. You don't know what you're talking about when it came to business and entrepreneurship. Cause as a little kid, I was making money. Right. And as a teen, I was making money. And in my twenties, I was making money. And she'd always be like, don't do that. You never know what's going to happen. You should go to college. And I'd be like, I can't go to college. I don't even have a high school fucking diploma. How am I going to go to college? I'm going to focus on building business and revenue and wealth in my life. And then, of course, I'm going to probably blow it all, which is what I did in my 20s. And I learned an important lesson about that. And then I was talking to one of my friends and I was like, I'm going to go travel the world. I'm going to pack up. I'm going to sell everything that I own. I'm going to buy a one-way ticket to Thailand and I'm going to spend two years bouncing around, figuring out some shit. They go, man, you don't want to do that. It's dangerous out there. You don't know what's going to happen. And I remember being like, yo, it's dangerous here. You have a better chance of getting shot in America than you do in Thailand. You know, and the other one that I'll point to quickly is when I first started my podcast, the original one in 2016, I never talk about this show because we only did four episodes. I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. But I had friends be like, that's a waste of time. It's never going to amount to anything. Now, of course, fast forward to 2022, we have a top 10 podcast in the show, have in the world, had some of the greatest people on planet Earth on the show, tens of thousands and thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of people have downloaded it and we're on track to do a million downloads. What is the point of all this? Limiting beliefs are often instilled in you from the people around you, and you need to check the people around you, and you need to check yourself in this journey and understand the truth about this. Like every single day that you are showing up, living somebody else's reality, you are limited. I was just on a podcast today and they asked me, what's the number one secret of business and life? And I said, it's easy. You don't ask people's opinions about who you are and what you're supposed to be doing. You turn them off. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, you should never ask the opinion of someone who has never done the thing that you want to do because those limiting beliefs are going to come from those people. It's the same way as a kid. They were like, you're not good enough. You're not strong enough. You're not capable enough. Nobody's going to support you. Nobody's going to love you. You're a loser, blah, blah, blah. You heard that shit. And you're out here asking people, what should I do? How should I show up in the world? What kind of person should I be? Should I start this business? Should I start that podcast? Should I ask that person on a date? Should I, should I, should I? And look, I've learned this lesson, even in my adult life, even in the last four or five years where I'm asking people's opinions for shit. And I'm like, why? They don't live my life. They have nothing to do with me. And then what happens is I start believing their narrative. I start believing their limiting beliefs. And then I go, wait, hold on. What am I doing? They don't live for me. They don't breathe for me. They don't love for me. They don't show up and do this show for me. They don't coach my clients for me. They don't write the books for me. They don't speak on the stages for me. So why would I listen to them? You got to trust yourself. You got to trust this thing inside of you that says, I can do this. You want to smash, you want to crush those fucking limiting beliefs. You want to become the hero of your own story. I swear to you, I promise on everything that I love, the most important thing that you can do is turn off other people's fucking opinions. 
Start with all those pieces that you've been instilled with since childhood. Every single time somebody has said, you're not good enough, you replace it with I am. Every single time somebody says, you're not capable, you replace it with I am. Every time somebody says, you're not lovable, you replace it with I am. And then you move towards being the person that you want to be. And look, I'm going to tell you right now, it's entirely fair that your life may be in suffering right now because of the experiences that you've had. You've been hurt. You've been beat up. You've been kicked on. You've been spit on. You've been rolled over. You've been stepped on. You've been crushed. But guess what? Today, if you're listening to this, you have a fucking opportunity right now in this moment to create change in your life. But you've got to honor it. You have to change the narrative. Stop asking them what you should do. Stop asking them for recommendations. Stop asking them how you should show up in the world. Start honoring what your gut tells you. And look, I'm going to tell you a really important truth. You have to stop listening to your brain. Your brain's a liar. Look, you have to understand your brain is tricking you every single day because it serves one purpose, survival. Your brain only cares if you live or you die, not if you're happy, not if you're content, not if you're fulfilled, not if you're in a growth. It goes, am I safe or am I not safe? And when you step into doing things that are uncomfortable, your brain says, this is unsafe and I can't do that. And so because your brain says, this is unsafe and I can't do that, what happens is you don't execute against the very thing that you know is going to change your life forever. And so what happens? happens because you're not executing against the thing that will change your life forever. Your life stays the fucking same. And you're like, well, how do I change it? Look, my therapist told me something I've said a million times on this show. Change happens when you make change happen. When he told me that six years ago, everything in my life became different because I realized the truth that it's on me. You want to build self-belief, go build self-belief. You want to get up early, get up early. You want to build the life, build the life. Stop asking people who haven't done the thing that you want to do how to fucking do it. Stop asking your friends what therapist to go to. Stop asking them what podcast to go to. Stop asking your family how to step into personal development and healing because chances are they haven't done it. Chances are the people in your life, in your circle who are looking at you right now are saying, why are you bother? Why are you even trying? Why are you going to spend that money? Why are you listening to that podcast? Why are you on a Saturday morning trying to make your life better by doing a course or doing an app or learning a program? How the hell is that going to help you? You got to understand this. It's not that those people don't love you. Like, I'm going to tell you right now, my grandmother loved me, even though she had her own shit and we had our battles. And even though my mom abused the shit out of me, and even though my stepdad did and all this stuff, like there are people, they still love you but they don't have your best interest in mind. That's the truth about it. And that's a hard truth. Like one of the hardest moments of my life was when I had to tell my mother at 18 years old, I'm never talking to you again. I said, I'm never talking to you again. Cause I knew what was going to happen. You know, four, she cut my finger off. I was homeless because of her. Cause she was a drug addict and an alcoholic. She would beat me and my brother. She would leave us outside. She was go force us to bed without food, like all this chaotic shit. And there's a part of her that was still nurturing and caring and loving, but I knew, but 18 years old after she attacked me in the middle of the night and I had to defend myself that if she stayed in my life, I would not be here today. I would not be of service. I would not be helping you. I knew if I went on that drug deal with my best friend, when he got arrested and he was under age and I would have been of age and in prison to this day, I knew if I would have done that, I would not be here with you. I knew that when I had the opportunity to start Think Unbroken, that if I would have asked everybody what I should do in a space and a time when nobody was talking about childhood trauma and abuse five and six years ago, that they would have been like, what are you crazy? Who wants to hear that? I knew that if I wouldn't have written my first book because I got declined by a hundred different fucking agents and production companies that if I didn't write it, I wouldn't have changed the life of thousands and thousands and thousands of people. You have got to understand something. If you keep asking people's opinions, you're going to keep being limited because even though they may love you and support you and want the best for you, they don't know you. They aren't, they're not the 60,000 thoughts you have a day. They aren't the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed. They aren't your dreams, your goals, your reality, your love, your hope, your trust. They are not you. And you've got to show up for you first. You want to crush limiting beliefs? Well, fucking crush it. Start doing the thing you know you need to do and stop asking everybody else. 
Unbroken Nation, hope that you just got a tremendous amount of value from today's episode. I want to know what you think. Please do me a favor and review, rate, and share the episode with three friends on social media today. It would mean the world if you did, because ultimately at the end of the day, creating community and connection is how we heal generational trauma in the world. And I need your help to do that at Broken Nation. So if you're on iTunes or Spotify or wherever you are, please like, comment, share, review. I want to know not only what you like about the show, but how I can make the show better, how I can make this further about helping you on your healing journey. So do me a favor. And when you do shoot me a screenshot of you making the review to my DM at Michael Unbroken on Instagram so that I can have a conversation with you, say hi, and more importantly, so I can share it with the Unbroken Nation. Thank you so much, my friend.